The Commonwealth Electoral Observer Mission on Sunday withdrew from Guyana. In a statement on Wednesday, the mission pointed to several serious and persistent electoral malpractice observed during the electoral process from March 3rd to the 14th. It referred specifically to the tabulation processes conducted by the returning officer for Region 4, Mr. Claremont Mingo, which the observer mission stated clearly were not credible, transparent or inclusive. In a list format, the team which was present at the returning officer's High and Hatfield Street Georgetown office throughout the process blamed the much-publicized exchanges between political party representatives on GCOM. The group did not observe any material or substantive impediments inside the tabulation room which might have prevented the resumption of the tabulation process. It is the group's clear view that the robust exchanges between political party agents in the room only occurred when the Ghana Elections Commission GCOM repeatedly halted the tabulation process, according to the statement. The team cited the returning officer for failing to adhere to the Chief Justice's ruling, which said he should ensure that actual statements of poll should be shown to entitled parties present during his tabulation process on Sunday. In some cases, the tabulation totals announced by Mr. Mingo on March 13 reflected more voters than were entered on the list of eligible electors for certain polling stations, the observer team stated. The Guinea Elections Commission was flagged since at no point did the leadership of the commission halt or rectify what was deemed blatant instances of disregard for the rule of law and electoral ethics, despite its vested authority to independently ensure credible elections. The observer team said it welcomed the Caribbean Community Initiative for a national recount, but notes with regret that the team has now departed Guyana, having been unable to complete their task. The group will submit its full report to the Commonwealth Secretary-General, who will forward it to the Ghana government, the chairperson of the Ghana Elections Commission, leaders of political parties, and all other 53 Commonwealth governments. Bibi Katun, reporting for the Newsroom.